Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio overview of the Playlist Widget. The Playlist Widget is represented in the widget bar at the bottom of the Wide Orbit screen by a yellow icon with the station's call letters. The Playlist Widget consists of two parts, the header and the list of elements. In the header, from the top, Displayed in a tab at the top left of the widget is the name of the currently loaded radio station, as well as the date of the currently loaded playlist. Above the Playlist tab is the Playlist Widget Toolbar. By default, the toolbar displays seven icons. Now, Jump, Move, Copy, Clear, Insert VT, and more. If the Playlist widget is installed in a narrow container, some of the toolbar icons will be moved to the More menu. The Now icon, when highlighted, maintains the currently playing element in the viewable area of the Playlist widget. If you scroll past the viewable area, you may reselect the Now icon to recenter the Playlist widget on the currently playing element again. The Jump icon allows you to rearrange the order of the scheduled events in the playlist by changing the Next to Play element with the bent arrow icon. Notice when using the Jump feature, the stack immediately updates to display the playlist's new order. The Move icon lets you move one or more unplayed assets in the playlist to a different position. The Copy icon lets you copy one or more items in the playlist from one position to another. The Clear icon unselects any and all selected items in the playlist widget. The Insert VT icon allows permissioned users to insert a voice track into the playlist on the fly. By default, the More icon has four options underneath it. Open Playlist opens past, current, or future playlists into a new tab to view or edit. Open Voice Track opens a new tab displaying only the selected voice tracks and their adjacent assets for a selected playlist. If there are no voice tracks scheduled in the selected playlist, the tab that opens will be blank. Undelete opens a slide up window listing the deleted elements from the playlist so that they may be recovered. To recover a deleted event, Select Undelete from the More menu in the widget bar at the top of the Playlist widget. Locate the deleted item in the slide-up window you wish to restore. The most recently deleted item will be at the top of the list. Select the deleted item and press the Restore button. In the Playlist widget, insert icons will appear at every future position. Select the position to restore the deleted item and the media asset will paste above the position selected. Scroll to Hour opens a slide-up window allowing you to quickly jump to a specific hour in the playlist. In the list of elements, the loaded playlist is displayed with the following columns. Time, Play Status, Title, Artist, Length, and Media Asset ID. The Time column displays the scheduled time for each future event and the actual start time for current and past events. The Play Status column displays the status of each event in the playlist. The Title column displays the title associated with each event from the scheduling software. The Artist column displays the associated artist of each event from the scheduling software. The Length field displays the duration of each event from the scheduling software. 
and the Media Asset ID column displays the category and asset ID of each element in the playlist. The last column on the right side of the widget will display two different icons. Up and down facing arrows indicate how a voice track in the playlist is linked to the audio files adjacent to it. The three bars icon will appear when you have made and accepted any edits using the SEG editor. In the playlist widget, the currently playing media asset will be highlighted in green along with a now playing graphic in the play status column. The item scheduled to play next is listed immediately below the currently playing asset with a bent arrow icon in the play status column. Any missing or unplayable elements below the currently playing item are displayed with red text. Typically, these are items with missing audio, production that hasn't been completed yet, or audio that is outside of its allowable play dates or times. The gray area above the green currently playing asset shows the played assets in the playlist. You can scroll into the past of the playlist all the way back to midnight of the currently loaded day. Each element in the gray area has an icon adjacent to it in the Play Status column, displaying how each past event played. A filled-in circle shows the event played completely without error. A half-filled circle means the element was partially played. An empty circle means the element was skipped and a red circle with a white X means the element did not play. At the bottom of the playlist widget is the hour counter and edit voice track, seg, and edit media asset buttons. The hour counter displays the total and scheduled length of the selected hour in the playlist widget. To edit and record a voice track, Locate and select the voice track in the playlist. The Edit Voice Track button at the bottom of the playlist widget will now be active and blue. Pressing the blue Edit Voice Track button will load the selected voice track and its adjacent media assets into the Voice Track widget. The Voice Track widget will be covered in its own module. Selecting two or more consecutive items in the playlist widget enables the SEG button. Pressing this button pulls the selected media assets into the Segway Editor widget. The Segway Editor allows you to edit the transitions between the selected media assets. Selecting a single element in the playlist that is not a voice track enables the Edit Media Asset button, which, when pressed, loads the selected media asset into the Audio Editor widget for editing. The Audio Editor widget will be covered in its own module. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of the playlist widget for Wide Orbit Automation for Radio. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.